The Trump Circus is back on tour again starting tonight in Ohio. And if you check under the big top at his rally tonight, the former president is certain to roll out a clown car full of lies to outrage his supporters. I never admitted defeat. We have a lot of things happening right now. I think that that was an election that was, I don't think, all you have to do is read the newspapers and see what's coming out now. No, I never, the word is concede. I have not conceded. Yes, he's been complaining about a rigged election for nearly eight months now, but each week Trump's big lie gets smaller. When compared to the chilling new body cam videos from the insurrection released by federal authorities. And the big lie just gets more sad when can you consider Trump has bought into the insanity that he'll be reinstated in August. Sending out an email this week, have you seen this? Vowing he'll be back in 2024 or before. Or before? That's a nod to Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, who claims he came up with this bogus August timeline. But this week Lindell told me Trump's summer reinstatement could slide a bit. Yes, you see, Lindell says he'll reveal his findings at what he calls a symposium in August. Then he says the Supreme Court will have no choice but to throw out the 2020 election and make Trump president again. Yes, then the aliens land on the mall. No, I'm just kidding about that part. Just making sure you're paying attention. But Lindell explains some of his thinking to The Daily Show. If August doesn't happen, then, what do you then, say to these then the people? the states are going to all pull it down because they're doing audits in every state. Pennsylvania is doing audits, they're doing here in Wisconsin, Maricopa will get done. Everywhere they've done an audit, like in New Hampshire, okay. they've switched. every place that we've done audits, that we've done the machines, it's the same thing everyone. So there's a plan. It's like watching that Bigfoot show. They don't find Bigfoot at the end, but if you tune in next week, maybe it's going to happen. Uh -huh. right. Funny stuff. It would be great if we could all just have one big laugh, but this is getting dangerous. Then there's the wacky conspiracy theory under investigation in the so-called Arizona audit that bamboo ballots were allegedly shipped in from China. Take a listen to what one host on the Trump propaganda network OAN said just the other day. When all the dust settles from the audit in Arizona and the potential audits in Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Wisconsin, what happens to all these people who are responsible for overthrowing the election? What are the consequences for traitors who meddled with our sacred democratic process and tried to steal power by taking away the voices of the American people? What happens to them? Well, in the past, America had a very good solution for dealing with such traitors. Execution. Executions. He said it so calmly. Now, that same host claims he was only discussing a legal process and wasn't calling for any executions. But just in case the big lie and the bamboo ballots that they think came from China don't pan out for the former president, the same cast of characters on the far right have been warming up their latest circus sideshow, something called critical race theory. And let me tell you right now, critical race theory is bigoted, it is a lie, and it is every bit as racist as the Klansmen in white sheets. Critical race theory, they are propagandizing to our children. They are turning our children away from faith. Unfortunately, critical race theory is a lie. It makes Americans hate each other. It's a tragedy in that way. Now, don't be fooled. Critical race theory is an approach to understanding our society about uh, looking at the racism that has shaped our past and how it still exists in our institutions. But just look at what all of the manufactured outrage over this theory has created. Shame on you! Shame on you! You're teaching children to hate others because of their skin color. I am disgusted by your bigotry and your depravity. Just because I do not want critical race theory taught to my children in school does not mean that I'm a racist, damn it. What's next? 
an insurrection at your local school board meeting? But hold on, these same folks on the far right, they love the military, right? Well, meet General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, who said understanding the history of this nation is critical to defending it. I want to understand white rage, and I'm white, and I want to understand it. So what is it that caused thousands of people to assault this building and try to overturn the Constitution of the United States of America? What caused that? I've read Mao Zedong. I've read, I've read Karl Marx. I've read Lenin. That doesn't make me a communist. So what is wrong with understanding, having some situational understanding about the country for which we are here to defend? Now, that didn't sit well over at Fox News, where Tucker Carlson was doing Tucker Carlson. <laughs> he's not just a pig, he's stupid. Is that what we're teaching our kids now, that it's OK to refer to a, a general as a pig? His colleague, Laura Ingram, was sounding like she wants to defund the military. We're paying for that? Why, why is Congress not saying we're not going to give you a penny until all of this is eradicated from the military budget? Nothing. This is my offer to you. Nothing. That's what I would say. I'm, I'm, to I'm totally outraged by him and his ridiculous response today. Private Ingram, Private Carlson, what is your major malfunction? The general seems to have touched a nerve. Here's what is so threatening about Trumpism. It's not just about the big lies. It's about pitting one set of Americans against another over the election, over critical race theory, or whatever the next unserious outrage theory that comes out of Fox News or Mar-a-Lago. If we stop fighting each other and start embracing the truth, these guys over here, they're going to run out of things to talk about and maybe even run out of money, too. But hey, they could run off and join the circus. I hear they're hiring clowns.